We continue our journey on checklist or creation and today we are tackling the marking as important and marking with due date. So two tasks in one, the code is already written and I will show you the result step by step to shorten this video again as in previous video. So first how it works. When you click the star here, the task is automatically start here as well and the number one appears here as important and you can unstar here here or there, it fires the same event of live wire and this changes to zero. Also add due date, you can add a due date and choose today, tomorrow, next week or pick a date. Then it adds the date, everything with live wire or you can remove the date. And again, this planned number then changes. So if I click with the date, this changes to number one. If I click remove the date, that changes back to zero. So these two things, let's explain in the code. And similar to previous video, I will explain the task based on GitHub desktop to show you the difference in the code and not just the final result. So it would be visually more clear to you. So first mark task as important, this commit, it's actually already on GitHub. So repository link is in the description below. And to mark the task as important, first we need to add the field. And this time we don't add the date. So something underscore add, in this case, it's not important. What is important is true or false, important or not. So Boolean field and a tip here to name Boolean fields with prefix is. So is something already kind of tells the developer yourself in the future or other developers, it tells that it's a Boolean field and by default it is false. Then it needs to be fillable. So in fillable array, we add is important here. Then in the menu service, we add the tasks count to calculate from the collection where is important equals one. That user tasks is from previous video. I will remind you that it is this collection. So I've opened it in PHP storm. So this is the collection. And then we filter the collection from the original collection to the count of filters that we need. So this is the filter for is important. And now let's take a look at the blade of live wire component, which means this sidebar. So this star here and this star here, how it is implemented in the table. I've added width in old school HTML attribute, but it works. Also, I removed the icon for carrot up and down because I feel it took too much space and it's not really needed anymore because we have the link here. And then the star is a new TD here. And here we check if the user task exists and it is important, marked as important, then we show the star of filled star, the icon of HTML, which is marked star. Otherwise, we show the icon of simple star and both lead to the same method with wire click prevent of mark as important with task ID. Important thing here. This is a long line, which is checking if the user task exists already created, already cloned. So we're getting the first, which may not exist. And here we have Laravel helper called optional. So optional means that it may not exist. And if it doesn't exist, this is important, will not throw an error. Otherwise, if we do without optional and that task doesn't exist, doesn't return anything, then it will throw an error that is important, doesn't exist on null object. Then what else? Uh, I've made the description with call span three instead of call span two. And at the very bottom, we have almost the same thing. So if current task is important, in this case, we have current task opened and we don't need to do that optional with getting the task. So we're calling mark as important the same thing from here or from here. Now, what is in mark as important? So this is the method in live wire component mark as important. It's really similar to complete task or add to my day, which we implemented in previous videos with a few differences. First difference is we're not really working with the dates here. We're working with is important one or zero. Next difference is that we emit the event of user tasks counter change with different parameters. So important, another possible parameter value would be my day or planned, which then changes the numbers here on the left. And then one significant difference is this or where. So we're getting the user task from two possible options. This task ID is not user task ID. Here we show the task from admin tasks. And in here on the sidebar, when we click the task, this is already user's task. 
So we may find the situation where task ID is different ID numbers. It's like parent ID or child ID. So we need to search for both options, whether ID is task ID or parent task ID is task ID. It may be complex to understand at first, but you can clone down the repo and play around and you will understand exactly what I mean. And that's it then, user tasks counter change, then fires the event in the counter live wire component in the user tasks counter with task type here and tasks count changes and refreshes the numbers on the left. Now let's go to add due date. This is a bit more complicated. So I will show you another commit and the due date setting in the database is pretty similar to other fields. So we add that into the migration table date due date. Then in the task, we make it as fillable. And also we add that to dates array in eloquent model. So we would be able to format it with carbon. And I will show you that in a minute. In the menu service, we also change the tasks count to filter off where not null due date. And next we will get into more interesting parts. So in the blade of live wire component, there's some formatting, which is not important. This part is important. So add due date, this was before, and instead of just simple and not working link, I have this. So if we have due date, then we show that. And this format is actually what was meant to be implemented in the model of dates. So if we have dates, it's automatically a carbon object, which we can transform by doing format method. And then we do wire click prevent on set due date to remove that. So we have a method in live wire called set due date, which may or may not have a parameter. If it doesn't have a parameter, then we remove the due date, set that to null. Otherwise we set that to some day in the future. And here we have another if else statement. So else if due date is not set, we show the add due date link, which fires an event toggle due date which toggles this variable due date opened. This variable is just a Boolean property of Livewire component. And if it is set to true, we show that list of options, which is today, tomorrow, next week, or pick a date. And we're hard coding that today, tomorrow, start of week with carbon helpers and Laravel helpers and pick a date. I decided not to implement any fancy date picker. There is an input type date by HTML, which works kind of well. And one by one, due date opened. We go to our live wire component. So due date opened, false or true, by default it is false. And then toggle due date, it's just doing toggle true or false, changes and basically opens or closes this one. So add due date, click, unclick, and it shows or hides. And then set due date is also similar to set completed at or set others with one change that due date is null or not null and due date is a parameter here. And also we fire the event of counter changed with planned task type, which fires the event to update this number. And final thing, what I wanted to show you in the blade, the date picker here down below, it is input wire model to due date. And due date is a simple property of that live wire component, due date. At the bottom, we have updated due date live wire method called automatically on the change of that date picker. It calls the same set due date, this method with current task, which we have already the current task if we open that on the sidebar. So how it works in the visual browser. So you pick the date with default date picker, and then it's automatically set and format it with carbon to May 26. So these are two features for this video. And in the later videos, we will go on with adding reminders and notes.